of building new memories. And that's what it's all about, attention and focus. So without further ado, use it and grow some more. You've probably heard many times, use it or lose it. I love this extension, use it and grow some more. And that's what we do in our group. We use it in ways that help us to make more and more and more connections because it's not so much about how many neurons you've got. Part of ageing is the brain does shrink. But when you're born with 100 billion of them and one of them can make 10,000 connections, then clearly the loss of a few doesn't make a lot of difference as long as you're making new connections. And to make new connections, you've got to do new things. And the show you'll see tonight is certainly probably going to be slightly new to you in so far as the approach is a little bit different. There they are. They're the people you're going to see later. Aging. The opportunities, and we need to think of opportunities. We need to think of potential before problems. We have, well, I'm not so sure about this first one, particularly in the last week. More time, that's what we're supposed to have. I'm supposed to be semi-retired, which is interesting. Less responsibility for others, worry less about what others think. Now, I wouldn't have been standing here in this 10 years ago. Left and right brain hemispheres acting together, and this is an advantage of ageing, because when people are younger, those of you who are younger, you tend to rely on one at a time, whereas we who are older can use both of them at the same time. Creativity increases with age. Attitude, own and others. You'll see quite a bit of attitude tonight. Retirement, what's that? Stereotypes and myths, self-confidence, body awareness, mm -hmm. decreased flexibility and mobility. Yes, that's true. <laughs> However, we're doing our best. Youth is a gift of nature. Age is a work of art. We do not stop playing because we were old. We grow old because we stop playing. Sustaining creative challenges positively contribute to maintaining mental functioning, supporting the brain reserve hypothesis, and that's what it's about. It's building up the stairs. It's having lots of spare connections in your brain, lots of spare brain juice to make those connections able to connect with one another. A lot of use of those pathways, so they're beautifully myelinated and very fast. We don't want bush tracks in our brain, we want super highways. New science, new horizon. The mind grows stronger from use and challenge in the same way muscles grow stronger from exercise. And the, and the evidence for that is growing all the time. The creativity and age, ageing study, which I referred to in the last presentation I did two years ago in Canberra, three years duration, the goal twofold, to change the way older people think about ageing. It's all downhill, it's over the hill, you have your 50th birthday, and that was a while ago for me, and you get those over the hill messages. I was not very polite about those. How old people are treated? Well, I'm called darling a lot, sweetie, um, but you know the funny thing is I don't mind. Would have minded 10 years ago. Now, I don't mind having things carried for me and doors open for me. And to um, produce the hormones that make such a difference to how we feel. All of those things, the amygdala, which starts collecting sensory and emotional memories very early on, sensory memories before we're born, and keeps on doing it for all of our life. And the messages going from the limbic system up to the prefrontal cortex and then back down again. And the cerebellum, the little brain, at the back of the brain stem which is, takes up only 10% of the total amount of the brain, but has about 50% of the neurons. That part is very important in dance. Activate motor and sensory areas. 
Intelligence is a dynamic process. Stimulate long-term potentiation. Cells that fire together, wire together. In other words, they make networks and those networks become the way that we use our brain. Maintained and enriched, which is what this performance tonight is about, they endure. Neglected, they disappear or taken over. Proper diet, exercise and sleep are critical. The thing is, when you get older, it's easy to be habituated. It's easy to be doing the same thing and not making the changes that cause the brain to learn new things and do new things, make new connections and build up the density. Benefits of aerobic exercise causes the brain to produce the substance, substances and nourish into neurons, calms the body, reduces stress, optimizes learning and bathes the hippocampus in nerve growth factor and switches the prefrontal cortex on so it is in charge of things. Synaptogenesis, new connections. Angiogenesis, new blood vessels, and neurogenesis, a biological process. All of these things are happening when we're learning new things, when we're making new connections, when we're causing the brain to work at keeping up its abilities. So it's all about active aging. It's about finding new challenges, doing new things, making the new connection so that your brain's going to serve you through to the end of your life. We want thousands of potential connections. We want new cells to be produced. We want stem cells converted to neurons. Creative dance reduces stress, and that is a major factor in the damage that we do to our brains when we don't control our stress. Optimizes learning, builds the vascular system, counteracts depression, and produces the growth factors. Serotonin makes you feel good, dopamine, tension, reward, motivation. Norepidrine in increases alertness and concentration because it's all about paying attention and being able to focus. If you can't focus, you can't remember things. And most of the time when people say that they've got poor memory and you talk to them about why that might be, I find that why that is, is they're not paying attention. They're jumping on to the next thing before they have consolidated the thing that they're on at that time. So these are the, sp the specific proteins, I won't go into those tonight, but all of those are involved in creating the circumstances for the brain to work at its optimal level and what we're doing tonight and what a lot of the rest of you are doing at different times is, m is creating those substances, those growth factors which are good for the brain. So dance is the only physical episode. Exercise demonstrated to reduce the risk of dementia. Dementia. It's physical, cognitive, socially engaging, and in this instance, creative. It enhances all of those things which are important to make sure, for example, visual spatial memory. Falls are a terrible cause of people losing their independence and going downhill very swiftly. So mobility and balance, sensory experience and emotions, challenge your brain and your body. This dance group is a group of mature adults. You might wonder about that by the end of the evening. Um, we experience the transformative power of dance. Now for me, it has indeed been transformative. It has changed my life made my life, it's taken me from the head into the body and it's been an absolute joy and what on earth I would have been doing if I hadn't sort of met Glenn in 2009 and he hadn't agreed to come to Queensland and we hadn't sort of started the group which is the war dance group. So all of us feel stronger, happier, more alert, competent and fully alive when we dance. Banish the stereotypes. Dance for your brain and for joy. If not now, when? After all, what can they do to you?